Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Today I'd like to talk to you about Mermaid. Mermaid on the Reformer. We know we do mermaids in a lot of places, but typically today I'm going to just talk about the Reformer. And you can pretend that I am on the Reformer and sitting in that nice little mermaid position. Because I want to talk about what happens with the upper body when we do our mermaids. So we line the client up and we've got their hand on the bar. And they start going and they're going out and they're coming back in and they're going out and they're coming back in and while they're going out their shoulders coming all the way up into their ear and then as they come back they don't even let the shoulder drop down because they're not understanding how the elbow is supposed to function either. So start to think okay as I get my clients to push out can I get them to push more from their torso right? all these nice muscles in our core and then they go into the side bend and as that side bend is happening can their arms stay in an externally rotated place? It's not really external rotation at this point, but for some people who hang out in continuous internal rotation, that for them is external rotation. So as they push out in a way and they start to lean over, is this area solid? Are you looking at what's going on here so that they're not contributing to some of their own issues that happen up in the neck and the shoulders? So as they push out, arm bone stays in that slight external rotation, think that they're using serratus and all the other shoulder stabilizers to keep that shoulder nice and stable as they come up and over. And then as they come out of that and they're starting to head back, what I see quite often is as the arm bends, the shoulder heads up towards the ears. Can we start to think shoulder stays down as the arm comes back in? So I'm pushing out, stabilizing in the shoulder girdle, reaching up and over, staying stable in the arm and the shoulder girdle, keeping that arm in that slight external rotation. And then as I release to come back, I'm working still on the return and I'm letting the elbow soften without the shoulder coming up into my ear. So as you're looking at some clients in the next coming session, start to look, are they doing that with their mermaid? Are their shoulder girdles all over the place? Or can I get them to pay attention to where that shoulder girdle is? That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.